A kind day to you all, I'm Kinsmark, and this is Let's Play Keep Them Below, an indie horror game I actually came across some time ago and simply hadn't set the time aside to play till now, so let's check it out. I've never had much relationship with my grandparents. To tell the truth, I've not seen them since I was a child. My parents never spoke of them. My grandparents passed away. For some reason, they left me their farm. I was to meet a solicitor at the farm to sign the final legal papers, but he did not show. Creepy start. I will stay the night at the farm and wait for him the next day. Fateful last words. Alright then. I like the audio aesthetic already. Huh? Who turned on that music? Alright then. This is actually pretty high quality. Alright. A little jittery in the camera animations. I move apparently at a pretty uh, crawling pace. Just kind of creaking awake. Alright. So already, this has a fair sense of atmosphere. I know just enough about... Ugh! The setting and the story to get invested enough to ask certain questions. Like, just why is it that my parents just couldn't talk about my grandparents? Is it a lack of interest? Is it a conflict? Is it something they aren't willing to speak of? I keep seeing lights out the windows. And seriously, what is with the picture of someone hanged just set on a shelf and I could swear I've seen that that looks like concept art for one of the uh, slender games that I think I might have actually played a long time ago and the lighting is top-notch this is actually like the casting of shadows and how they move around and interact with okay the lantern because I assume this is like an oil lamp. Kind of a classy old TV there. Oh, now I can just see shapes out the windows. I'm actually feeling a little... nervous. Alright, that's just a tree swaying in the wind. Because I saw movement out there. Oh. Please let this keep from cheapening itself with jump scares, because... That sounded like it came from near the barn. Alright. So far, this is setting itself up to have one hell of an impressive atmosphere. So I have to head outside. That's just a cheery landscape. All right. There's a lot here. I anticipated that I'd just stay inside. I have to explore. All right. Pumpkins. Is that what I farm, apparently? Am I planning on keeping this? the solicitor like an auditor or an inspector come to appraise the property and let me know? Ah! Oh, I guess it's close to Halloween! Good to know that my grandparents were a cheery and festive sort. Because I assume they carved it. Since I showed up and apparently just headed straight to sleep. This is creepy. I am impressed. I haven't played an impressive horror game in some time, so 
it's likely affecting me a little more than if I were a little more inured to it. Since I'm coming at it fresh, though, this... Part of it also is the creeping pace. Like, <laughs> moving so slow. I feel like I can't escape anything if I start getting chased. Okay. Creaky wood. That's fine. It's old construction. It's charming. It's character. I approve. So, um, lady? Anyone? Someone was screaming. You stay still. I have experience with scarecrows and games. Yeah, cue it. You, you know. Uh-huh. Editing me. Yeah. Show the people. I don't trust you! I don't trust you at all, Mr. Scarecrow! Do you think it's wise to go the direction that he's looking? I don't. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't trust you. <laughs> he moved! His face moved! So that happened. And, uh... Yeah, I, I ain't uh, so keen on... A repeat. Oh, alright, cool. If I hit shift, I can actually sprint a little. Alright. You're a creepy one. What is this? Alright, that's just a cracked off part of the wall. I hear something. Some kind of semi-metallic hum, like a generator or something. Can y'all hear that? I can't tell if it's coming through loud enough to get picked up. Oh, it's getting louder. Oh no. Oh, it's just discordant enough that I'm actually getting chills from it. Something's coming. I feel it. Ah! Alright, the audio design. Please let this actually culminate into something. I mean, please don't! I just... I can feel myself tensing, and if this doesn't lead to something... It's disappointing. Can I, can I open this? Can I head inside? Can I like... Oh, here we go. I can't tell if I was supposed to come this way. Nope, looks like invisible wall. Alright, I can't go this way. Nope, alright. I have explored past the area I was supposed to. Can I head inside now? I didn't exactly feel safe in there either. I don't know why I want to. Okay. Feel intense. I like this. Is, this is eliciting this kind of reaction from me. Even though a single thing hasn't happened yet. It's purely atmosphere conjuring this up, and it's the audio design as well. Can I, can I open this? Is this the seems like a storage shed, servants' quarters, I don't know. From ye olden days. Okay. Maybe if I follow this path. What is that? Oh, it's just something clipping through some of the wood. Well, gee, a creepy path into the woods. This couldn't possibly lead to... Anything horrible happening to me? I feel like I shouldn't head this way yet, like... I heard that. Like I was supposed to find something, and then some other trigger would send me this way. I feel like I've skipped something. I can't escape that feeling. There's a grave in the woods. What is this? I can click on it. Come on, do it. Whatever you're gonna do! I feel like I shouldn't turn around. I suddenly have that feeling, and it's very distinct. Let's do it! Okay. Mm. Why can I click on this? I need a shovel, don't I? Why am I going to dig up a grave? I have missed something. Something creepy and unsettling. Alright. That music is just getting more and more intense. Alright. Um, so, shovel. 
that I need for things and stuff, apparently. Should I... Oh. Oh, there's more. Okay, the music is calming down. Uh, I'm not sure if that should calm or worry me. Huh. Aha! Uh, there's a hoe and a pitchfork. It ain't a shovel, though. Curious. Alright, it is eerily quiet, and, uh, that's unnerving me. So, I can't shake the feeling that I have missed something. And if the creator of this game, or anyone that's already also played it, is, I'm, I'm sure at this point, just screaming at me in the comments, I apologize. Can I? Oh, hey, here we go. I missed this! I'm an idiot! Hello? Are you okay? Look, stay calm. I'm going to look for a way to open the barn door and get you out. I'll be back. I'm just not going to comment on the fact that there's freaking blood on the padlock. Alright. So I either need some kind of heavy implement with which to crack off the lock, or I need to find a key for it. Honestly, my instincts point to the former. I am not sure exactly what the game wants from me, though. So, all right. I I assume I've at this point what the. Okay, that was just light refracting off of the creek. Uh oh, uh oh. I can't tell if I was supposed to come here or not. There is a lot of pop in happening, and that's also a little distracting. Because it seems like some of these environment assets are a little strange in how they uh, factor into the render. Am I seeing into some part of the level that I'm not supposed to? Is there like a creepy under level to that, or am I just seeing through the environment because I wasn't supposed to come in this part of it in the first place? Yep, yep, leave it to me to just glitch out the game. Alright, well, let's see if I can find something. So if I were a key, I'd probably hide inside. Correct? I think so. So let's check that. Yeah, that's a picture of barn. Can I call some? Is the, is the fact that there's a picture of it right there a hint? Is there a... Oh, jeez. This is confined and claustrophobic and I ain't a fan. Is there something in here I need? Lady? I have questions for you. I assume you're the one that clambered in here, turned on the music, probably mooching on my food. Yeah, see? She... Oh. Is that another rendering issue, or is there something actually glowy out there? No, that's just something reflecting on the glass. I assume I didn't pour this cereal. Or plant the tomato in the can. Alright. She was. She was in here mooching on my food. Lady, I'm gonna call the cops on you. See if I don't. Do I not have a cell phone? Can't I just, like, maybe this is so far out in the country, I don't have reception. I don't know. Just making excuses at this point. And collision issues prevent me from climbing the stairs. I could swear I've seen, come to think of it, the inside of this house in another horror game. So maybe this is something from, like, the Unity store. Because I could swear I've had this collision issue on this set of stairs with just different furniture and accoutrements around the room in another game. It feels so familiar. Alright, screw it. That's not even worth it. So, clearly the key isn't around here. Okay... Can I not just grab one of these? Like, that would suffice. I could probably pry it off with one of these. A pitchfork or a hoe. Um, is there something in this little shed? Because I haven't actually explored over here in detail yet. No? Alright, how about up here? No, because that's just this little storage shed again. Can I get in there? There's a door. I can't. Alright, maybe I'm just thinking a little too hard about this, and maybe there is something right around here next to the door that I'm just missing. Can I use one of these planks and, like, pry the door open? 
Is there a key in this friggin' thing? No? Alright, I was gonna friggin' slap myself if that was the case. Can I... The lock is rusted, I'll need something to break it. Alright, so I figured that was the case. There's all kinds of things around here I could use. Which one does the code of the game want me to use? That is the question. And I have taken so long <laughs> that the audio is cycling around again. I can hear that intense discordant note starting to chime up. So there's another pitchfork and hoe over here. I can't use them either. What is the deal, man? I like this game, it's just, it's... Pacing suffers for... It's fairly, like, arcane and obtuse sense of puzzles. Either that or I'm an idiot. Like... <laughs> Failing to find the fact that there was a door on the side of the thing. Yeah, that was me. I claim that as idiocy on my part. Full acceptance there. This part, though, I, I don't feel like it's unreasonable to say that this is uh, a little more difficult to progress than it probably should. Can I just grab one of these stones and just crack it off with that? Come on, man, I'm getting desperate here. Is there something in the yard in... Can I, can I find another, like, a door into this thing? Can I open this? I cannot. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Uh. I just came around and found a cellar door here next to the... house. And I can get in here. Alright. Creepy again. Is there a tool in here I can use? Let's keep this... Pragmatic. Uh. The hell is that? Why is it hanging on the wall? The shovel! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. I got that. Some rope in there. All right. I was a little concerned that... Was that there when I first came in? Let's just say it was. I'm leaving now. All right. Well, Jesus, thanks audio, I needed that little miniature heart attack. Alright, so I have a shovel now, I already know of a couple of things I can use it for, so first off, let's let Creepy Lady out here, and let her know that I shall indeed alert authorities to her intrusion onto my property. She's still alive in there? Because, I mean, she was screaming about something. Lady! Coming to save you. I, I can't... Something's gonna come through that, isn't it? Can I... Can I... I, I have something! Come on! Is there, is there an inventory that I need to do? I, uh... I'm, I'm clicking on it. E. F. Come. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. Alright, fine. Okay. So F lights and douses my lantern. Okay. Come on, game! I have a shovel! What more do you want from me? I. Uh. Uh. uh, uh I'm, I'm hitting keys. Numbers. Lots of things. Can I not? I, lady, I'm right there with you. I feel like crying too. Come on, man. All right, I know I'm skipping things. I feel like I'm playing this game completely out of order at this point. I can't tell what the hell it wants me to do with that door, and I'm getting frustrated. So I'm gonna check and see if I can do something with the grave and just dig it up for no reason that makes no sense in the narrative. Because that's all I know to do at this point is just try things. Click. This is starting to feel like a point-and-click adventure game. Can I? I can apparently just start digging up a grave without any, uh, like, code thing to prevent me from doing so prior to any of the... Are you for serious? There is a key in the coffin that I have to dig up to open the lock. Who in their right mind 
finds a grave in the woods in the grandparents' house farm they just inherited, has a lady locked in the barn, and figures, hmm, maybe the key to the barn is buried in the grave. I should go dig that up. Who thinks like this? Ugh! And who even is that? That's a single grave. I had plural grandparents, so they weren't put to rest here on the property. I... Uh, is that like some, like, aunt or uncle? A sibling of one of whoever my parents' parents these people are were... That they just never talked about? Did the grandparents kill one of my parents' siblings? And that's why they never spoke of them. And then why didn't they warn me if they have creepy, murderous parents of their own who might leave me property? That's just inconsiderate. Can I open it now? <sighs> I know the lock is rusted. I know I need it. I have a shovel. I have a key. I've already started to rob graves. I'm already devolving into madness. Which more does this game want from me? Do I need to, like, dig up a giant rock to smash it with? I... Ah, it's losing all of its tension, and it had so much at first. Oh god, let's not clip past the level again. Uh, Scarecrow Man, can you help me out here? You have a cool glowy face. That's nice. That's thumbnail. Um... Seriously, game, you're such a cool concept, such great lighting. I could deal with the pop-in. I could deal with the fact that I, I recognize a lot of these are some fairly stock assets. There's a decent premise here. The level design is great. There's a lot of detail. The farm land itself is actually pretty great, with the exception of a few of these little seams that could easily get ironed out. Like, someone with talent crafted this environment, and I don't want to take that away from them. I seriously cannot praise, as far as you know, modest indie game environments are concerned. This enough. It's so well put together. Except for the fact that I can kind of clip past the confines of the area. I mean, again, that's something that's pretty easily fixed. I just... Uh, it's pacing. It's self-explanation. It's problem-solving. These are the things that need to get ironed out. What am I supposed to use the shovel for now? Like, is the shovel just spent? Is, is there some other, like, thing that I need to follow? Do I need to follow the river? I, like, I can't hop off this into the water even. Okay, so I can't do that. Did I miss something in the cellar? It was a pretty small area. I'm not contending with the stairs to try and get up there again. So if there's anything upstairs, I'm just not even getting that. Which is sad. I just... Y'all saw how much issue I was having trying to climb those friggin' stairs. So... Is there anything in one of these cupboards, something in a drawer, is, is there, you know, like, a hammer, can I just rip the sheet off, whatever's in there, corpse thing, come at me, try and kill me, eat my face, maul me, I don't care, I've lost all sense of fear, I am the man without fear, you can't hurt me now, I've listened to that soundtrack far too much, can you tell, and I'm starting to get manic, because I'm getting frustrated, because I'm disappointed, because this was cool at first, and it's losing me. And that's sad, because I didn't want it to. <sighs> Alright, let's get proactive. I have a key. Clearly it goes to something. And if there's a something for a key, it's probably in the house. Right? Right. So, what is it? There's some is there something? Is the shelf? Is the hidden door? Can I... Is there a hidden compartment in the sonophone? Gra gramophone, whatever the hell it's called, I forget. Uh, 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 hit it in the cereal! No, I'm just clicking on everything at this point. I apologize if the camera is all stuttery and jerky. Part of that is just the rendering. Ah, uh, come on, these stairs! Maybe if I just hammer on the jump key, I can just vault the stairs. There we go, alright. Is there something locked in the creepy noose cabinet? No? Okay. Anything in here? Checking around now. Alright. Is there something in my room? I didn't actually inspect it all that closely when I first awoke. So can I can I climb into the cabinet now? Anything here? 
Oh, come on. I have a key. It must go to something. I have a shovel. I can't smash the lock with the shovel. So... Has it just expired its usefulness? Am I smacking my forehead on the cross thing now? Come on. The music is trying to chime up. I know, you're, you're trying to freak me out. You've tried it several times at this point. I've probably cut a lot of it out. It's just not even doing it anymore. There's like a third story up there that I can't seem to reach. Maybe the ceiling is just really high. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on. I see something. I I'm here at the edge of the farm, and... I, I see there's like a, a tall structure there in the distance. There's something out there. I can't keep walking, like there's an invisible wall preventing me from exploring. Maybe that's just part of whatever asset pack this came from? Or maybe I need some kind of like script to trigger and that invisible wall will disappear and I'll actually get the ability to explore further around the environment? I don't know. Alright, let's see here. So, that way leads to the grave. Can I follow this? Is this a path? It is! I can come here! That little rise, for some reason, just made me feel like that was the edge of a path. Alright, so I can actually come to this other place. Whoa, 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 whoa. The hell is that? I see something in there, and it's moving. That is a creature. I can see it. It's like hunched over, facing the that the right edge of the screen. I was gonna point, and then I realized I have no idea what angle the face cam is gonna end up. I'd oh, okay. For a second, I thought the light went out. Can I like come up to this window and say hi? Oh, you have creepy, glowy red eyes. All right then. This is the part when I get in my car and leave. It isn't that part, is it? Why am I, like... Why, who would... No, I don't want to. I know there's a thing in there. I saw it. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Written in very neat font for someone scrawling in gore on the walls. All they know is hunger. Red eyes. Red eyes everywhere. Red eyes. Okay, then. Can I leave now? I know you're gonna chase me. I know you are. Okay. I didn't want to say hi to you anyway. I want to leave. Alright. That is an adorable little radio. Can I have that? I'd like that for my desk. Okay. They wouldn't take me. They took my child, but they wouldn't take me. Okay. They want more. Bring them more to keep. Keep them below in the dark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh! Oh, okay. I have a pickaxe now. Can I swing it? Can I equip it? Can I put it in the hand that isn't carrying a torch? Cause I think pickaxe to the skull might kill even a red-eyed monster thing! You're gonna come after me, aren't you? I know you are. Yeah, I know you're coming. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. The light's out, I can't tell. Oh crap, I think he's out. I think he's free. Oh crap. Oh, that isn't good. Why couldn't I have just used the shovel? Why? A shovel is a perfectly good metal implement for cracking things open! It's metal. It's heavy. It's edged. Why did I have to go in there and get a big axe? Why? I know it's heavier. It is slightly more destructive. And therefore, probably a little more at least efficient at cracking locks off. It isn't the necessity! And where is my car in all this?! Like, lack of cell phone reception, I can accept. Lack of car? How did I get here? Did a friend just drop me off? Or a family member? I thought it was mom and dad. They knew. 
They hated me. They always hated me. They wanted to get rid of me and feed me to the red-eyed creature monsters. This seems cheery. L lady, that's that's a nice antelope skull you got there. I don't. Huh. Okay, so keep them below. Yeah, clearly that's the no. That's the. I I can't get up there, can I? I have. I wanted to climb that and see. Why am I getting in there? Why why am I climbing? What what no I what? Ah! Okay, that actually caught me off guard. Camera, I might have liked to look her in the face and see what was the person cracking me in the face with the candle. At least my lantern is still functional. I knew something was happening and that actually still got me. So kudos to them for that. Alright. Maybe the pacing will improve. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright. I like that the audio is a little more subdued. It's just quiet enough that I feel eerie. It isn't completely silent such that it would remind me that this is just a game, though. It feels alive in here. Like things are happening. Like I'm hearing the echoes of slight little movements in the distance. Like there are things alive. Moving. And that's a good thing for a horror game. It isn't good for the tension in my spine. I can't tell which way I should go. So I'm just gonna go this way. I probably should have gone the other way. Because this is going... Whoa, what the... Sudden technology. Hang on. H E. Is that in Cyrillic? Ah, ah, light. I think that's Cyrillic. Either that or it's. Is that Greek? I can't tell. Ah! Can I open this? I might be able to get out this way. Shit, the door handle is missing. Because of course it is! This advanced, like, heavy-duty lock system. And oh, I misplaced the handle! How do I even know what a handle looks like on a door like this? Okay. Alright. I didn't expect that. At all. So, alright, let's head toward where I saw the light. Uh... Fire. Does this lead somewhere? Yeah, I think it does. Alright, let's check the fire. So this is worked stone. So there's some old stuff at work here. Are you okay? Hey, what are you? That That's a wrapped up corpse, I think. Handle. Whoa! Oh! Uh... The hell am I looking at? <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay then. Let's, uh... Just, uh, this doesn't actually lead anywhere. So that's a pillar that has collapsed, and yet the thing it was supporting is still floating there and glowing creepily. So I can't get up there, I assume, which means... Grab the handle and run. Grab the handle and run. Is the glowy thing doing anything? No. Okay. All right. Let's go. Which way do I go? I think this is the right way. Let's just keep a moving. I'm concerned with how quiet it is. Put, put the handle on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let, let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, uh, clank, clank, clank. Yeah, that, okay, good. It just occurs to me that I may have miscalculated. That they may have locked something in here and removed the handle.
to keep it from escaping. Oh, jeez! Called it! Ah! Hi there with your creepy face mouth! I see your friends have come to join you. I am kill. Alright then! That was creepy! And had a lot of plot holes. I liked the atmosphere. I liked the environment. It was very well put together, as I said. I just feel like it didn't necessarily need to happen the way that I was railroaded to have it happen. As repetitive as that statement is, I apologize. It just... It felt contrived, especially there at the end. Um, that I didn't have an escape means that... It, and this is something that isn't necessarily specific to this game. It's endemic as a trope to the horror genre. Especially as games are concerned. That one is forced to go through the motions of the intended story. Instead of just saying, Peace, I'm out! I ain't having that! Uh, that I didn't have a phone, that I didn't have a car, that there isn't a means of just escaping. And it's, again, that question of who in their right mind and why would continue pressing on? Is it the sheer sake of curiosity? In which case, how sane am I as the main character to continue on like that? And, like, it just feels like a lot of questions were left unanswered, and it isn't in such a way that it leaves mystique so much as it leaves a lot of holes. And there is a difference there, because horror doesn't need to completely explain itself. In fact, leaving questions left over, particularly as to the nature of the threat, is generally one of the greatest ways to inspire further thought and speculation, and therefore the conjuration of fear into the minds of the players that are experiencing it. That, it's the fear of the unknown, is such a core element of horror, and yet, it still needs to make sense within the confines of the story that it's telling. And this didn't entirely. So, I could definitely see this delivering a much more intense experience if, again, its pacing were adjusted somewhat. Um, it, it just felt like I was uh, just exploring the environment to find things that the game wanted me to find instead of what made sense. And I recognize to a degree that that's, you know, a limitation of a rather modest indie project. It isn't necessarily going to come replete with, you know, a full physics engine that you can grab this heavy object and smash into this, and it has, you know, a hardness and hit points to, so that it can detect things that would destroy other things. I get that. I know that. Um, it's just, I feel like other things should have either not gotten included in the environment, like the hoe and the pitchfork, like these are things that I could have pried that lock off with instead of having to use a pickaxe. Um, and if you're going to include those things, either have them work as well or, you know, give me some other means, like even if it were just, um, you know, character dialogue popping up in that little text thing uh, to say like, no, I think I need something heavier or... Um, you know, let me pick up other items and test it on the problem to get solved and say, that didn't do it, that isn't heavy enough, um, you know, it, it, or like it cracked or something like that. Um, I understand that comes with a lot of extra code that needs to come in and it's extra work. It's just, it's also something that will lend a sense of investment and immersion to players and therefore keep them from feeling like, ah, this is the game keeping me from doing it and more that, okay, this situation just isn't working in my favor. I need to improvise, I need to adapt, I need to come up with a new idea. So, at its core, I like the concept here. The idea of, you know, the creepy inherited property that has, you know, clearly a history that isn't fully understood. Um, I just, I feel like there are certain things that are implied about the main character that one has to sort of make up for oneself. Like, why didn't parents ever talk about the grandparents? Why didn't they warn me? Why didn't I call them? You know, saying, hey, I just inherited, whether it's mom or dad's parents' land, what do y'all know about this? Like, why didn't that get explained? Do I have a poor relationship with my parents? Did the effect that their parents must have had upon them if this is the kind of place they live and the things that they do and the creatures they keep under their property? There's a lot of implicit story there that isn't fully fleshed out and that I would like to see fleshed out because there are some interesting concepts at work there. 
So I think that's pretty much all of the critique I've got for this. Its audio was on point. Again, the lighting was pretty great, especially in the interiors. And I liked the attention to detail given to the actual game environment. Um, it, it made, especially at first, for a very uh, atmospheric and therefore dread-inducing experience. It just it had certain elements that drew it out so long that that dread wore off. And that's kind of a shame, because I liked it in its heated moments. So take that for what you will. I think that's pretty much all I have to say as far as critique of Keep Them Below. So thank you all kindly for watching. I am Kinsmark here at Nestle Press, and as always, I wish you all good game and Godspeed. He's looking. I don't. He moved. His face moved. <laughs>